everyone welcome back to the channel and welcome to sunday night uh this is karina and what you are looking at in front of you is the ham uh, that we made for new year's day and we actually didn't even make it until the day after new year's um, because we just had so many appetizers for new year's that we just munched on that stuff so we made this last night and this is a ham from the food pantry so i have it all sliced up and what I'm going to do with it is some of that I am going to dice up. And tonight I am going to make a cheesy potato and ham casserole. And for the other part of the ham in here, I'm going to save for tomorrow night. And I'm going to make some, some of the pork steaks we got from the food pantry uh, probably a couple months ago. And I'm going to cook them on the grill outside. And I'm going to make a supper salad. And I'm going to use some of this ham for that. Now, the supper salad, um, I don't know if you recall, but earlier, well, in the late summer, early fall, when we went camping, I did a video on our camp meals, uh, pantry-inspired camp meals that we took. And one of them was a supper salad. But I don't believe I've ever done a video on making the supper salad. So tomorrow I will be doing the video on making the supper salad as well as cooking the pork steaks outside. Okay, so that's what my plans are for this ham. And tonight's casserole is going to be in this dish. So I'm going to empty it out, wash it up, and this is going to be our casserole for tonight. And then if there are any leftovers, which I'm assuming there will be, we'll have that for lunch tomorrow. So, okay, so uh, let me get set up here and stay tuned. All right, everyone. So just to show you what I'm using and what I'm doing is I've already diced up the ham and I separated it into two separate bowls. Uh, one is going to be for tonight's casserole and one will be for the supper salad tomorrow. Okay. And then I actually did save a couple of slices in case we want to have it for breakfast with some eggs or something. Uh, we already did uh, have that, but just in case. If we don't, then I can slice it up or dice it for the supper salad. Okay, so that's the ham. And then I'm going to be using some potatoes, and I'm just going to be slicing them the long way, like that. And... I don't know if I'll need all these because I'm only using a 8 by 8 casserole dish. And then I'm going to be using a can of cream of chicken and some sour cream. I don't think I'll be using all of that, maybe half of that. And I'll mix the cream of chicken and the sour cream together and that's going to be the cream. Okay, and then I'm going to use this block of uh, cheddar cheese that we received from the food pantry. And I'll shred half of it for tonight and I'll save the other half of the block for tomorrow's supper salad where that'll take cubed pieces okay so that that's what I'll be using so right now I'm gonna slice up peel and slice my uh, potatoes and then I'll get everything together from there okay so stay tuned okay everyone so um, this is the again this is the casserole dish I'm using uh, eight by eight and I put my sour cream and cream of chicken in here. I used to buy, this is a 16 ounce tub of sour cream. I used about a third of it. So, and then one can of cream of chicken. And I'm just going to mix those two together. So I made some um, oatmeal raisin cookies earlier today, so that'll be our dessert. Um, I've already done a video on that, so that's why I didn't uh, do a video on it. But I will put the link to that video down in the description below. So, And this time I actually uh, made a little icing that I drizzled over the cookies. So, And it doesn't taste too bad at all. I made the icing, then I put it in a plastic bag. And then I just, uh, like a Ziploc bag, and then I just cut a little tiny piece of the corner out, not too big. And then I just squeezed it and drizzled it over the cookies. Alright. Okay, so 
Got that all mixed up and now I'm going to throw in my ham and mix that into it. I may need to use more cream of chicken. We'll see how it goes over. Uh, we might be okay with that. Yeah, we don't want it to be too, too creamy. All right, maybe. <laughs> Uh, we'll see. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Undecided. All right. So I'm going to get my potatoes that I already sliced. And I'll show you. They're kind of uneven, but I sliced them like they're real thin on one side and a little thicker on the other. But yeah, I didn't slice them. Like this is a larger piece. I didn't slice them too thick. So I don't want it to have to cook for like two hours. All right, so I'm just gonna line the bottom here. I've already got my oven preheating to 350 and it's actually already preheated. So, all right. And I'm just going to throw some salt, pepper, and uh, onion powder on the potatoes. Now I'm just going to spread uh, the creamy stuff with the ham over this. Oh, we should be plenty fine. We don't want it to be too much. Just enough for tonight and maybe for lunch tomorrow. <laughs> there might even be a little left for uh, supper. But. All right, so you can see my Christmas stuff. I don't know if you can see it from there. My Christmas stuff is still up. I did take down the lights out of the windows, and I took some of the stuff down to the basement. I'm having a hard time letting go. <laughs> so, but by tomorrow afternoon, it should all be taken down. I am going to leave some stuff up for winter though, like snowman that doesn't have any Christmas stuff on it. The big life-size snowman will stay up for a little while. Alright, so I'm just going to cover this, like spread it out, cover it. And again, you can add anything you want to this. But I'm, I was just looking to do something different with the ham, like we made it with... Uh, Last night when I made it, I put uh, pineapple slices on it and put some brown sugar over it. And so tonight I thought, well, maybe we'll do it a different way. So I just thought to do this. So, so we are getting all use out of that entire ham. All right. So there we go. And... Bring this up closer so that's what it looks like and i'm going to go ahead and cover this and leave it in there um i doubt if the potatoes will get done after a half hour so i'm guessing it'll cook for about an hour and i'll take it out after a half hour to check it and see how done the potatoes are if not i'll put it in put it back in um but i am going to put shredded cheese over it once it's pretty much done, and then I'll put it back in the oven with the shredded cheese. So 
All right, so I'm going to get this in the oven and stay tuned. All right, everyone, so I just took out the casserole, and I have had this in for 90 minutes now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and check it. It's steamy. I did take it out after 45 minutes, and I just mixed all the potatoes around. Because previously, at the beginning, um, I just had the potatoes at the bottom. And about 45 minutes into it, I took it out and mixed up the potatoes. So, seems as though they're done. Yeah, fork goes through them pretty easy. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, just going to smooth this out a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and remove the tin foil. And I have my shredded cheese here from the block of cheese that we received from the food pantry and the other half. Um, like I said, I'm going to use tomorrow when I make the supper salad. So now I'm just going to put this cheese over this. This is a really simple meal to make with food pantry items. I mean, we're using ham because we received the ham and we had it open, but you can make it with anything. Can make it with bacon, whatever you want, ground beef, I guess. And when I put this back in, I'm going to leave the top off. Well, isn't this meal just fitting for me? Cheesy? Yep. All right, I'm going to leave it at that, and now I'm going to put it back in the oven, and I'll throw it in for like 15 minutes or so, okay, and then I'll check it again after that, so there it is, all right, stay tuned. Okay, folks, so here it is, oh, timer's just going on, perfect, I just took it out, and you can see it and hear it just bubbly and I don't know if you can tell but like the cheese it's already browning on top so that's pretty good it is way too hot to even try it right now yep so there it is food pantry meal cheesy potato and ham casserole real simple to make if you don't have ham you can substitute it with something else so I'm just going to scoot this over quick so I can show you my uh, oatmeal raisin cookies. Made these earlier and you can see just a little bit of the glaze there. And I used uh, powdered sugar, milk and some van vanilla extract. You can see it real well on that cookie. I made those earlier. Like I said, I'll leave the link to the video that I made for the oatmeal raisin cookies. I'll leave that in the description. And so, yeah, there it is. Supper and dessert. All right, folks. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. And I always forget to say it to people. But um, if you could please hit that like button. Drop a comment because I love your comments. And hit the subscribe button. It's so unnatural for me to talk about that stuff. I never talk about it. I just like to get into the video and do the video. So, um, so yeah, I figure if people like it, they'll do it. So, But I guess I'll say it. I'll forget it next time anyway. So, all right. Thank you so much for enjoying this video or tuning into this video. I hope you enjoyed it. But thank you for taking that time out of your day. So, remember... 
Remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.